Hello and welcome to Lisa's Home Cooking and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you one of America's favorite dishes, chicken parmesan. Let's start off with breading up our chicken cutlets. We're gonna crack some eggs into a dish. Let's say if I'm gonna bread up about eight cutlets, I'm gonna put about four eggs in a dish. For four eggs, I'm going to press about three cloves of garlic. To this, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some fresh chopped up parsley, and a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Now when I say a little bit, I'm talking one scoopful. Now we're gonna mix this all up. Now the reason why I put so many ingredients in my eggs is because I feel like you need to flavor every single component of frying a chicken cutlet because each layer gives a different flavor. Now that we got this all stirred up, it's time to bread our chicken cutlets. Regular thin sliced chicken cutlets, that's what we like to use here. One at a time, we're gonna Dip these in, get them nice and coated with your egg. Now after we get all that egg mixture onto our cutlets, we are going to bread them. Here you go. Now the reason why when I fry chicken cutlets, I do more than I need is because I love to freeze some of them. So for future, if I do wanna make another tray of chicken Parmesan, half of the process is already done. And we're down to our last one here. Now that we've got our cutlets nice and coated with our breadcrumb, it's time to fry them. Let's test our oil the way I like to test it. I take a little piece of breadcrumb, I drop it in my oil. If you see it start to fizzle, you know your oil is ready. So here we go. One at a time, I'm gonna drop these babies in. Nice and slow. You don't wanna burn yourself. And you're going to cook these for about two minutes on each side. My other trick is that I like to take a dish and line it with some paper towel because when they come out of the oil, I want the excess oil to be absorbed by the paper towel. You can leave your heat on medium high to cook. You could actually start to see when these are ready to get flipped as the edges start to brown. I think these babies are ready to get flipped. So what you're looking for is this golden brown color, just like this. And you get these one at a time. I know when I'm making these and my husband pops in the kitchen, he always likes to steal one from the pot. Now these are ready to come out of the oil. Right onto my paper towel lined dish. Just like that. Okay guys, now it's time to put this delicious dish together. We have our fried chicken cutlets, we have my homemade jarred sauce. Click up here to see how that's made. We have our fresh mozzarella and we have our Parmesan grated cheese. First, we're gonna pour a little bit of this fresh tomato sauce right on the bottom of my casserole. And make sure the whole bottom is coated, just like that. Then we're gonna start lining up our chicken cutlets. So what I like to do is I'll put one in here and one a little bit overlapping. I'm gonna put a little bit of grated cheese on top and a slice of mozzarella on each piece, just like that. And I'm going to continue that process all the way through till we fill up our whole casserole. Just like this. One at a time, nice and easy. And then I'm going to show you how we finish this off. It is so simple, easy, and delicious. Okay, we're gonna coat this with all this delicious sauce. And now you wanna try and get in between all the pieces. Cause when we cook this in the oven, you want it to be nice and juicy. Right in between, right in between. Little bit more grated cheese. We love cheese in our family. 
And now we're gonna bake this for about 15 minutes in the oven on 350, just until all that cheese melts and all comes together. Now let's go pop this in the oven. Okay, we're gonna stick this in the oven for 15 minutes. We'll see you when it's done. Okay guys, our chicken parm is ready to come out of the oven. You could tell when the sauce starts to bubble and that cheese is all melted through. It is going to be delicious. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. Nice bubbly sauce with melted cheese. Come on over, let's taste. Look at all this cheesy goodness. Now, who wouldn't want to eat a piece of this? Cooked to perfection. Now, remember guys, to like my video and subscribe to our channel. And let me know what else you would like me to cook for you. Bye.